I got a new vlog camera, guys. Look how big this camera is. Oh, I can't show you the full thing, but you can see it's huge. It's huge and it's heavy. We're gonna run some errands this morning. Let's go. It's like too big to fit my purse, but it's nice. All right, guys, we are going to get some breakfast because I'm starved. I'm not starved, but you know. <laughs> I'm a little hungry, I want some breakfast. And uh, I need a Dr. Pepper, that's the thing. I'm like half asleep right now talking to y'all. Like I am half asleep right now. I need, I need my little caffeine, you know? So I'm about to go get a Dr. Pepper and then we're gonna go to a grocery store. I think I wanna go to Whole Foods today and get some produce maybe, I don't know. I'm going out of town soon, so I don't wanna get too much food and it go bad. But I just took a shower, got ready, and I'm so tired. I had to cancel my plans on Friday night because I know this is ridiculous, but I was like, I'm too tired. I went out Thursday night and it wiped me out. I'm like, how old am I? Why can't I go out anymore? <laughs> Why do I need so much recovery time? <laughs> I don't remember it being like that. I also don't really drink as much cut to me and all my IG stories of me drinking. Oh. I feel like I IG story when I am drinking. Because it's like, woo, having fun. Let's post some stuff. But I would say I drink more in the summertime too. Like wintertime. I'll maybe have one drink a month. I used to party a lot in my, my teenage, early 20s. And I feel like I did get that out of my system. And sure, I like to go have a good time. I just never like to go get drunk. I don't know why. It's just like so hard on me. It's like takes me out and it's just like not worth it anymore. Because the thing is, and I was talking to Manny about this. I was like, when I was in my 20s, I was totally okay recovering the next day and spending the next day being, you know, shitty and going back out that night and doing it all over again. But in my 30s, I'm like trying to get stuff done done and like run businesses and like it's no longer okay for me to waste days surviving. I actually have things I have to get done and responsibilities. Where in my 20s I had responsibilities but let's just say I don't think I cared enough about them as much. Uh, I cared more about having a good time but now it's like priorities change you know so I care. I just don't like wasting time feeling like crap. So that's kind of like my, my theory on it for myself. No judgment to anyone else. Live your life, life short. So Friday, yesterday, I went to the beach and rode bikes with Ty for a really long time. And I was like kind of hungover. <laughs> I was like, uh, okay. Um, so that totally, like, anytime we ride our bikes, Ty did his Apple Watch. Even though they're electric bikes, me and him tend to pedal the entire time. And last time he told me his Apple Watch said we burn around 500 calories. So we're getting a good workout in. Um, and like being hungover doing that took me out. I was so tired I had to cancel my plans Friday night. Like I'm so sorry, I'm staying home. I like can't move my body. So today I'm back, you know, I'm thriving. And I kept today and tomorrow pretty clear plans. I'm like, I'm not doing anything because I'm traveling soon and this is the thing with me. I have like a social battery and I have a big social battery, but once that social battery runs out, I am done. Anyone else feel that way? Like y'all, my social battery, I'm telling you when it runs out, I need to be alone. And I didn't used to really be this way. I feel like I never, oh, I'm gonna go, oh, don't hit me. I feel like I never ran out of social battery when I'm younger, but the older I get, I'm like, <laughs> I don't want to talk to anyone. And it just be like that sometimes. Yes, I need you to go, sir. Yes, thank you. It just be like that sometimes. If I know I have a lot of like hangout events, people's things to go to during the week, I'll be like, don't nobody ask me to hang out this weekend. Cause I need to be home alone. But the problem is once you get comfortable like and run out of, once you run out of social battery and you get really comfortable being alone, you start to crave that a long time. And that's where I'm at in life. Like I love to be alone. Girl, I don't know. I don't know.
I'm just trying to get Dr. Pepper right now to survive. This week I have a lot of work to get done. This weekend too. I try not to work on the weekends, but I am going to be working a little bit this weekend because I have some footage to edit. I have an editor that helps me, but there are times when I just feel like it's better if I edit the footage, so I don't know. I wish this is one of those aesthetic vlogs where I'm like making a chai tea or like an iced coffee, but I'm like, Dr. Pepper, Dr. Pepper. This is not gonna be aesthetically pleasing. This is going to be real. Dr. Pepper with extra ice, a large Dr. Pepper with extra ice. So we're gonna try to hang out with Aaron a little bit today. My hair's crazy because I think I'm gonna dye my roots. They don't look gray because I put like my spray stuff in them, but they are, um, they are gray. Just know that, I just want you to know that. That's one of the most annoying things ever. Let me just tell you the fact that like my whole, everybody's like, just let it go gray. So women are held to like, I, and I've come to realize this the more I'm online and the older I get, women are held to such a higher standard of beauty and staying young and youthful looking than men. Anytime a man gets old in Hollywood, they're like, damn, he's fine, he's daddy. Anytime a woman gets old, the comments are like, ooh, damn, she got old, she looks rough. It's disgust, that is disgusting. All right guys, the first sip of a Dr. Pepper in the morning. You gotta shake it up like the iced coffee people. <laughs> Just so I can fit in. I used to go to Publix, but Publix was so expensive, so I would go to like Winn-Dixie, Walmart, there's no Walmarts around here, so Target kind of takes it Walmart's place out here. I love Whole Foods for like produce and organic stuff. Air One, Air One is like the world's most expensive bougie grocery store. They're so freaking nice when you go in there and like, ugh, the food and produce is like out of this world. And then, so I'll go to Pro, I'll go to Air One for like little things. That's where Haley Bieber's uh, $17 smoothies from is Air One. Um, and then we have Ralph's here. Ralph's here is kind of like our Winn-Dixie. Okay, two more things to talk about before we go to Whole Foods. Um, my clothing boutique, Nitty Patootie, is coming back. Woo! You guys have been gone forever. We had to do a revamp of it. A lot of changes. A lot to, for me to explain. A lot's gonna come out with the brand this year. Um, but it's coming back in August. I'm hoping the second or third week. I don't have a date yet, so I don't wanna say. We're coming back, baby. And I got. I, I think I'm gonna do a video and like explain everything, because it's, it's gonna be a lot different. I need to explain everything, but I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this. <sighs> so, that's that. And then also, two TV shows that I need you guys to watch. That really great TV show to watch. I feel like you're pretty much guaranteed to love these shows. So Hacks, I think it was like nominated for 17 Emmys and I'm like, okay, if something's nominated for like that much, I gotta get in there. So Manny had put me on, it's on HBO and I watched it so, 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 so good. And then they just came off, I think her name's Myra Rudolph from Bridesmaids, but she's also, I know her from SNL, cause I used to, I mean, I'm still a huge SNL fan, but I love her, it's called Loot, L-O-O-T, and it is, um, on Apple TV. I started watching it last night and I freaking love it. It's about, it's like a spinoff Jeff Bezos' story. Like, she's been with her man from the beginning, from the jump, and he became a billionaire, like mega billionaire, aka Jeff Bezos, and she catches him cheating and they get a divorce. I'm not spoiling anything that's in the previews. It's all in the first episode. Like, this is the premise, not like what happens throughout it. Anyway, since there was no prenup, she becomes like the second most rich billionaire woman in the world, richest woman in the world, whatever. 
And so she like is trying to change her life and be a good person. She finds out she has a charity she didn't know about. So she's trying to get involved in that. But she's such a wreck because she's so out of touch, like so, so out of touch with any form of reality that she's like hurting the charity by her actions. And they're like, yo, we need you to chill the fuck out. But anyways, so it's, it's so good. It's like, it's definitely a spin off Mr. Bezos and his wife's situation, but it's so funny and that's all the information I have to share today. Aaron's joking on how big my camera is. Your camera is huge. It's too big. I mean, big. it looks really nice, but it's Girl, huge. ain't nobody trying to Girl, like, have a full production I out here. I wish you guys could see how big it is. It's, it's like I the showed size them. of your face. So we're eating at Din Tai Fung. Aaron's favorite restaurant. Yeah, this place is so good. So good. What, what are we already? getting? All right, so the cucumber salad, it's good. Chicken dumplings, chicken spicy wontons, string beans with garlic, and then the noodles with spicy sauce. And then Don't two dark peppers. Don't forget it. Don't forget it. All right, guys. Look how beautiful that is. Wow. We got our little cucumber, cucumber salad. Miss Lee is leaking I let Erin be in charge of ordering. Yes. She actually let me take control for once. For once. <laughs> And this is what I got. And I know she's gonna eat it up. Come on. First of all. Yeah, go ahead. I knock it off too. Oop. Oh. Really tasty. Really good. I love cucumbers too. Yeah. These are so good. No, I like to do. You guys are gonna call me psychotic. Alright, so you can pick it up like that, but I personally just like to stab it. <laughs> Efficient. They're oh, so good. I like it. We're on to chicken dumplings. These are so good. I'm making Laura eat these. Can't wait. We've almost finished off our cucumber salad. We yeah. gotta eat a few more. We got a lot more coming. We got the green beans I know. coming. I'm good. We always ever order at these places. We do. These look good though. They look delicious. We may have ordered too much food. <laughs> I am so full, but I'm still gonna eat because it's so good. We have to finish the spicy chicken wontons, and then these are the spicy noodles. We're gonna literally die, explode. In like the I feel my stomach ready to. Mine too. We we when we get hungry, we order too much food. We always do this. We're gonna do a little haul. We're gonna tell you what we got. A little fuzz. So. Here's what we got from Sephora. <laughs> All right, Laura got this new perfume. We can share. Daisy Marc Jacobs. Uh, this is the intense one. Oh my God. This smells so good. I wish you guys could smell things through the camera because this scent, I'm obsessed. <gasps> oh, comes. that is pretty. I feel like this is not the big bottle or is it? I know. This was a hundred. Oh, it does smell really, really good. Cause sometimes you get home and you're like, oh no. Oh, it's really good. Really, really, really warm. I'll yeah. put the notes on the screen so you guys can get a vibe for it. They also gave Laneige samples. This is really good, the water cream. Mm. The gummies. I'm sure <laughs> you want to take those. those. Gummies up there. <laughs> That's so cute. And then Spice Bomb from Victor Roth. Let's smell mm -hmm. it. Oh my God, this perfume smells so, so good. good. It's mm. I feel mm. like it's one that would last. Me too. Like I could spray it in the beginning of the day and I still smell it. Mm, it's like, okay. That's, it reminds me a lot of cologne, but my I man. do like it. Very manly. It smells like cinnamony almost. Yes. And then what me else? and Laura both got something from Refai. Oh, Aaron got this. The Gisu. Is that Le how you pronounce it? Gisu? Gisu. 
leave-in conditioner. Ooh, I love me a good leave-in conditioner. I love their packaging. I got the um, perfume hairspray from them, mm -hmm. and it's so good. I even wear it as like a body perfume as well, but yes. she's gonna try their leave-in conditioner. What, what do we, we get? Let's watch it. Yes, look, we both got something from her five. Laura got the gloss highlighter. I wanna try their highlighter. Okay, it won't, oh, there we go, babe. There and it is, babe. And then I got the brow sculpt, which is just a uh, like brow, brow gel. gel. Theirs is really good. Yeah, I do like theirs. I've used it a couple times. <gasps> Look how cute this little big nugget is. I love it. The packaging for it is so like aesthetically pleasing. There we go. Yum. Yes. A lot comes out. <gasps> yeah, that's, that's I really nice. cannot see my brows. I'm so far away, but the white cream. Mm, I do like it. Highlighter. Ooh. It feels really heavy though, so I'm a little like um, goopy in this. So I'm a little nervous, but I think it'll be pretty on. Yeah, it does look pretty. Mm. All right, we went to Nordstrom and I got this Essentials tea. I thought it was cute. I it love is the very color. Cute. I like the color of it. Got the little logo. And then I also got something green. I got these cute little booty shorts. Those are really I, cute. I don't know what this brand. I have a no, skirt by this brand. they told me on the last vlog what that means. What does it mean? I can't remember. Oh. <laughs> Tell us again, guys. What Tell is, us again. But what does skirt this mean? Oh, these are so cute. Did you remember you wore your skirt mm -hmm. in the last vlog in Florida? I want to wear like a little sporty outfit with this. And then we went to Ari, and they had these sweatpants. They are so... Yeah. Ari has such good sweats. They have such good sweats. I think I have, like, three pairs. Look how wide. I love them. These Girl, are super... That is, like, you could fit both of your legs in that. Baggy, super it. huge. Really great. They have really good sweatpants. And we both got these, like, workout tees, but I'm just going to wear them as, like, a crop top. Yeah, probably me too. But they're, like, really stretchy, like, little... This material. Like spandexy, like tees, just to fit like almost like a sports bra, like really tight. I feel like Skims has something similar yes, to this. Yes, this reminds me a lot of Skims. These I were kind of pricey. It. They were forty bucks each, but oh. they're nice. They're nice. I mean, it would cost the same at Skims if not more. So yeah, we I, love it. I love these, and that's what we bought, and that's what we got for the day, and that's our haul. That's our haul. And what are you doing for the rest of the day? I'm gonna chill, and then I have to go to work. Big girl things. Big girl things. Today is my day off, but I'm probably gonna edit a little bit. And no, then... you're not. You go chill. I'm gonna edit. I want to use this right now. I know. Oh, I know that's I'm gonna, gonna be nice. tonight because every time I come home from work, I wash my hair. So I do. Erin has a phobia of, of stinky smells. I do. It's a it's a bad problem. I'm trying my best to work on it, but anyways, I'm gonna be using this tonight. <laughs> Oops. Not mean to hit record, but I guess we're recording. It's Sunday, and I just uploaded a video to my main channel. I uploaded my Skims bestsellers review, so they'd send out like an email blast. I didn't wash my hair, but we're gonna dye my roots tonight, so I can't wash it right now. Okay, it looks so bad. <laughs> I bought the bestsellers and tried them out for you guys. I spent a lot of money on them too, because Skims has gotten really expensive. We decided to go get beignets. And I think like the last time I was in LA vlogging, we got beignets, so it's starting to seem like a um, regular thing that we this do. This is our new thing. I, this is like a new thing for us. I've only had beignets, like Laura and Tyler's leftover beignets, so I'm excited. I'm gonna get that raspberry sauce. It's the raspberry sauce that really turns it all around. I don't know. For it's me. like really fluffy too, and that powder. It just tastes like a Wait. funnel cake until you get that raspberry sauce going. And you're gonna like it even better fresh. They're not that good warmed up. They're not good warmed up. That's the only con with beignets. I didn't warm them up either. Yeah, like you Do have to eat warm? them at a height. Yeah, they come, they cook them fresh when you order them. I'm about to tear these up. I'm so excited. I'm so happy Laura said this. I was like, wait, does everyone everyone want to go get beignets? And everyone was like, <sighs> yes. Yes. I do yes, have work. Do soon though so hopefully it won't be late but if we're late we're late we're late if we're late Just Aaron no you have to go to work I mean I'll go to work but eventually <laughs> after my beignets all right guys we just get our beignets Ty's waiting in the car and uh, we're waiting on this order. Ooh, 
we got five large beignets, and then we got 16 Six. mini. When we know we're not going to eat 16 mini. Oh my God. There, or are we? There is a possibility. Yeah. They're definitely going to be saved over, though. Yeah. Because Let's 16 is a lot. They're like yeah. little bite size. They're so cute. Yeah. that time that I'm gonna dye my roots they don't look that bad I mean you can kind of see like some gray but I always have like dark shadow in it or like some type of root cover-up happening it only takes me two boxes of the Clara number four watching Emma Chamberlain's vlog and just vibing just vibing I'm gonna do a face mask after I put on my mask I mean after I put on my root dye and then I'm gonna do some laundry and then I'm gonna take a shower and rinse it out and it's gonna be a fabulous, productive Sunday night. I'm gonna get these, put these little plastic things over my ears so I don't get dye on my ears. I got these off Shein and they're actually really useful for when I dye my hair. wash the hair dye out in the shower so it doesn't um, get on my nails. It looks like um, it looks like I have snot all over my face. I'm doing the Tata Harper resurfacing glow mask. It's like this and it said add a thick layer for 20 minutes which is perfect so I gotta wash my hair out in 20 minutes and now I'm gonna go do laundry. <laughs> These ear covers are something. 